there she is. Hello everyone, it is Shipwreck Samantha here, and today I'm going to be talking about how to combat art block. As a lot of you know, I was recently in a creative block. I didn't want to make YouTube videos. <laughs> I meant to make a video on how to combat art block, but I was in an art block, and now I'm out of the art block, and so I'm gonna tell you how to get out of your art block. <laughs> Did that make any sense? <laughs> Regardless, I'm going to talk today about five different methods for combating and getting out of art block. I want to put a disclaimer right here and say that not every method will work for every person. I'm sharing five different methods, and so you might be able to choose one that works for you. So my first method is just don't stop drawing. It seems kind of ridiculous when you're in an art block and it's like, well, how can I keep drawing if I don't feel like drawing and I don't know what to draw? Well, just keep doing it. <laughs> it sounds so simple, but just force yourself to put your pen on paper and just draw something. Just find ways to draw. Just go outside, draw a tree, draw your pet, draw a face. Do th draw your favorite things that you like to draw and try to stimulate that creativity. And just forcing yourself to keep creating may keep that creative flow from stopping and you just kind of keep going. If this first method doesn't work and you feel like you're just getting burnt out and frustrated, it might just be time to take a break. The second method is literally just take a step back and don't stress about creating art too much. This method may not work so well for us professional artists who have to create videos or artwork or just content in general on a schedule. This isn't something you can always do and it's not something you always have the luxury of doing and so it, this is definitely a case-to-case -case basis type of method. This one's tricky because sometimes you have the opportunity to just take a break and sometimes you can't and you have to push through it. Um, but really, sometimes just taking a break, taking a step back can really help. The important thing about this method is do not take a long break. Set yourself on a limit, a timer, whatever you need and tell yourself, okay, I'm gonna give myself one week maximum off of artwork. Even just taking a day or two off sometimes and just working on other things is so helpful. Work on your other passions or other hobbies. If you like to play piano, go play piano for a few days. Yes, you love music, I know. This girl loves music. <laughs> but just do another passion. Focus on something else for a while. Go for a walk. Go for a run, do something active, go hang out with friends. Just think of something else that has nothing to do with artwork and do that for a day or two and trust me, it'll help if you have the chance to do it. <laughs> for me, when I was stuck in my content creative block, I just took a couple days off and by then I was ready to get back into the creative flow again and I felt refreshed, like I was fully rested and ready to get back to creating. You are talkative today, aren't you? Yeah! Yeah! Method three is go back to the beginning. If you feel stuck and you're not happy with the content you're creating right now, just go back to where you started. Look at what you used to create and get inspiration from that. This method honestly works so much for me so often because sometimes you just need to look back and see how much you've improved to realize how much potential you still have and how far you still have to go. You can look back and go, wow. My art isn't as bad as I thought it was because it sure was worse a few years ago. The best thing you can do is sometimes just go find an old piece of artwork and recreate it. Because once you recreate it, not only do you have something to create because you already have the idea, but once you're done creating it, you can look back and see just how much you've improved because you can do a side-by-side -side comparison. This is honestly my favorite method to use when it comes to commenting art block because I always feel so much better when I can compare old artwork to new artwork and see how far I've come. Method four is is search for inspiration. This one is, a, is one of those methods that isn't quite as effective for me personally, but has been effective for other people, and that is to just find inspiration from things. And it could be things in general like music, it can be other people's artwork, it can be your other passions or people that inspire you. Find something that inspires you and create a piece of art based off of that. My one go-to when I don't know what to draw is Pinterest. I've mentioned this before, but I have a Pinterest board on my personal Pinterest account. One board for just art inspiration. So if there's a piece of artwork where I love the color palette of it, or I love the composition, or just the piece in general just really catches my eye, I will pin it to my art inspiration board. And I will pin it to there in case I don't know what to draw and I can just reference one of those drawings and I, I know this is a controversial word to use, but copy it. Um, 
not taking credit of the original artist, but just taking inspiration from that drawing and then referencing it and creating an image very similar. Um, that gets me out of a creative block. I never use those drawings for like a commercial use. I never sell them or anything, but it's really great for getting me out of creative block specifically. You could ask their permission if they're on social media. I've done that before where I've seen a piece of artwork I really love and I ask the artist if I can recreate it. And they're usually very flattered and they're happy for to let you do that and of course give them credit and then I mean you're good to go. It really brings more inspiration. You can learn something new from copying another artist and learning how they create artwork. My last tip is to draw without a purpose. Just get that pencil on a piece of paper or that pen on a tablet. Do something. The paintbrush to the canvas, the tool to the clay, whatever it is, just do something. Do something to music. Sometimes when I don't know what to draw, I'll listen to my favorite music and draw how I feel. And just, if you get your pencil onto the paper, why are you interrupting me? Anyways, just draw without thinking. Shut your brain off and just move the pencil on the paper, create random shapes, do a scribble to a drawing challenge. Just draw a random scribble and then draw a picture based off of that scribble. And where like you can't erase the scribble but you gotta draw around it, that is very helpful. Well guys, that was my five methods for getting out of art block. I hope they were helpful to you if you're in an art block right now and you're trying to find ways to get out of it. Um, let me know if this was helpful. Be sure to like this video if it was. And also comment down below and tell me if there are any other um, art block combat methods that you can think of that you want to share in the comments. I'm sure everyone else would really appreciate hearing your suggestions because, I mean, we're all here to figure this out together because art block is a really mysterious thing. <laughs> also, if you're new around here, don't forget to join my pirate crew and subscribe down below and be sure to click on the screen or in the description to check out my shop if you want to support this channel and check out some merchandise. Be sure to stick around for future tutorial videos. I'm gonna do a lot of tutorial videos and we're just here to learn to grow together and and have some fun with this crazy art world. And so that's all I have for you guys today, so I will see you guys next Friday.